All right, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the different parts of the court, uh, something we're going to be covering this week. It's important that you know where different positions are at, so if we tell you to go stand or, or you need to be playing better in this area of the court, you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, the tennis court is a rectangle. And that rectangle is divided by a net. You will be playing on one side, your opponent will play on the other side. Now, this area right here is called the baseline. Any ball that lands outside of the line. In tennis, if the ball hits the line, it is in. If the ball touches any part of the line, the ball is in. In order for the ball to be out, it must completely be out of the lined area. And so if a ball is hit past the baseline, it is out. There's a baseline on this side and the baseline on this side. These lines, these are called the sidelines. You have a singles sideline and you also have a doubles sideline. Now, when you're playing doubles, you actually widen the court by six feet. So on this side, there's another line that goes out, and this is the doubles sideline. This area that I just drew, that's called the doubles alley. Now, the area in which the ball is most being played up is actually divided into two parts. There's a line that comes across just like this, and this is called the service line. The service line, the ball, when you serve the ball, or when your opponent serves the ball to you, the ball must land in the front area of the court first in front of the service line. And again, if the ball touches the line, the ball is in. The service line, the service area right here, is actually divided up into two parts. Halfway across it, there's a line that divides it into two parts. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the other side as well. When you are serving, I'm serving from this side of the court, you always start serving to the left side of your opponent. This area is called the deuce court. Now, if your opponent's serving to you, again, they're serving to the left side, and so the deuce court on your side would be here. You serve to the deuce court first, then you serve to the add court. The add court would be on your right-hand side. And of course, your opponent will also serve to your add court, which is on their right hand side. There's a little line back here. This little line separates the, the court in half and when you are serving, if you're serving to the deuce court, you must be on this side of the center mark. This little line is called a center mark. And when you're serving to the add court, you must be on the other side of the center mark. Now you can be anywhere between the center mark and the single sideline in order to serve, but you must be on the opposite side of the court that you're actually serving. Now, this area right here that I've already filled in with words, this area right here is actually what we call no man's land. And it's called no man's land because this is where the ball is going to be bouncing at when it comes to you. And if you're standing here, it's very difficult to hit a ball that's down at your feet. So when you're actually playing tennis, you want to be behind the baseline or you want to be at the service line or closer. You don't want to be standing in this area right here. Now, I'm going to give you a better picture of this because it may be kind of hard to see with all the glare on the, on the board, but I'm going to give you a, bigger, a better picture of it. 
but I wanted you to see where everything was located at uh, first. So I'm gonna see if I can give you a little bit better picture of this up on the PowerPoint, see if we get it focused in. There's all the parts of the court. And again, it's gonna be, uh, I'll lo upload a document so that you can actually see it on the uh, SportsU app.